there. But since American football players never use their feet, what is a better name that we can call it that will help connect the name with the sport and the actions in the sport better than the football we know today? Well, there's two specific names that I think would be a much better replacement than the name football. And you'll learn more about those at the end of the video. So how can we change the name? What, what are our options? How, what could we change the name to if we wanted to associate the sport with the name a little bit more than it is now? First, we need to understand how American football gained the name of football. And there's a couple different stories out there. One saying that since the uh, football, the leather pigskin is similar length to a foot, it's about 11 inches, give or take a few, that somehow that came about, the name came about that way. That's a little bit of a stretch because a football is only 11 inches. It's not a foot long. It doesn't really fit the name that well. A much simpler answer is that the game of football was brought by the British people when they came over to the US. They brought rugby and association football, which we call soccer here in America. The American football that we know today is a combination of both of those sports. So American football at the very early beginnings of it, around the early 1800s, was basically just rugby. That didn't really change until the 1880s. In the 1880s, a bunch of rich people from Harvard, Yale, Princeton, and Columbia changed it to have a little bit more of a stop and go system instead of the scrum that was popular in rugby. And that was basically the start of American football. At that time, a guy named Walter Camp is basically known for changing the number of players from 15 to 11 on the field at one time and basically is known as the father of American football. And that's where the change of gridiron football, which is American football, that's the real name, the historic name of American football, gridiron football and association football really took a deviation and really separated from one another. And the Americans just decided to call it football. Rugby was also called rugby football in England, but the people in England had association football, and so they decided to just call it rugby. They just stuck with the first name instead of just going to the last name. While well, instead of America, we decided to go to the last name and call it football. And before we find a name that football could be replaced with, I want to look at how people name popular sports or just sports in general. When I was looking at different sports, I separated each sport into two different groups. One group is named off the utilities used in the actual playing and execution of the sport. And the other group is based off of a, a location or a specific person and an, or an iconic name that has to do with the origination of the sport. Now for the origination sports, we have baseball, basketball, association football, like they call it in Europe. And the common trait among all of these is that they share in a utility that is used in the sport. For example, baseball, bases are very important for how the game is played, and so are balls. Basketball, you need a basket and a ball. Association football, your feet play the ball. Us humans are really not as sophisticated as we think we are. Even hockey is based off the French term for a shepherd stick. And second, we have the location group. A perfect example of this is rugby football, or rugby as we all know it today. Rugby took the name of the school that is widely considered to be the place that it was created. And so if we consider both of these two groups as the ways that humans name their sports, I think we can use different things in each one of these groups to find a new name for football, for American football. And so what can we name football? Well, I have a couple different ideas. Now, it's already called American football, but my real goal here is just to get rid of the foot because we don't use our feet in American football at all. So if we remember, a guy named Walter Camp started the game. To commemorate the contribution that Camp made to American football, I think it would be cool to use one of my suggestions to kind of create a name behind his name that connects to him as the creator of the sport. His name is kind of lame, so I really couldn't think of anything but Campbell or Camp Ball. I'm not that creative, so that's all I got. If you guys have any better ideas, uh, drop them in the comments below. I'll pin it if I think it's cool. But I thought maybe you could go you go with Yale Ball or something re referring to the Ivy League schools that created the games. But I don't think it's easy to say, and I don't think it really makes any sense anyway. So what are some other options? I think we need to look at the other group that humans use to name their sports, the utility group. Remember, this group has football, baseball, and association football. It's very self-explanatory and very simple. Something like egg ball or pig ball because the football is known as the pink skin so i think that kind of works but for me if the ball looks like an egg it would be very simple to just call it egg ball i think that's too silly and maybe a little derogatory i know british people refer to it as hand egg i think that's again americans won't be very happy about that and i want this i want to create a petition to send to the nfl to actually change this even though that'll never happen i think it would be very funny so i want to do it but i want to see something that could in theory and maybe in my head at least maybe not in theory just my head actually be implemented okay 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 you didn't like hand egg, but hear me out. Gridiron football was the original name. So what do you think of just gridiron? No? 
I think gridiron kind of works because it's just like rugby. When naming rugby football, they went with the primary name. We just happened to go with the secondary name, which was football. Would it be that hard to revert back to the primary name of gridiron? And, and this actually makes a decent amount of sense to me that we could have had American football be called gridiron if things just went a little bit differently in our country. And if that happened, we may have been walking around asking each other if we wanted to go play gritty outside later. We're pretty simple with the namings of sports and we're even simpler with the nicknames. Just out of why we've got gritty. And so I'm a little bit partial to renaming football gritty. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. I'm gonna pin a bunch of comments down below with my three nicknames and if you can go vote on them so we can pick one. And I might actually create a petition or send an email to somebody at the NFL to try and just get a response from them, see what they would say, because I think this is kind of hilarious. But if you guys enjoyed this video, you might also like this other video where I talked about why ex-British colonies are terrible at soccer.